Piers Morgan has sensationally claimed that his rival Dan Walker was milking his injuries following his terrifying bike accident last week. The broadcaster was flung onto the road after colliding with a car while cycling to Sheffield train station while navigating his way around the busy Ecclesall All Road and St Mary's Road roundabout in the city centre. Since the accident which left him requiring hospital treatment, Dan has been documenting his recovery on social media, which Piers has now taken a pop at. In recent years, the pair haven't always seen eye to eye and have famously clashed with one another. During an appearance at the RTS Television Journalism Awards on Wednesday night, Dan, 45, joked that he was up to his eyeballs on drugs after taking painkillers. The Channel 5 News presenter continued, It could be a fun night everybody, okay? I'd like to apologize in advance for anything that I might say that is near the knuckle my idea of where the knuckle is has completely changed within the last 10 days. To give you an idea of my mental state, let me put it this way, if a weather presenter were to question me in any way, shape, or form, I'm liable to storm off stage in an enormous huff, he added, a clear reference to Piers walking off Good Morning Britain. Adding further fuel to the feud, Dan added, I might go as far as to start a new TV channel based entirely on my ego, which no one will watch. But Piers was left completely unamused after discovering what his rival had said and instantly flocked to Twitter to lash out in view of his 8. 4 million followers. He tweeted, if I were Dan Walker, and had been kicked off match of the day and BBC breakfast, then washed up on Channel 5 daytime, and only got brass these days by falling off a bike, getting a few grazes, and milking it like he'd survived a terror attack, it'd be this bitter too. Dan recently explained how he was lucky to be alive after being struck by a car on the Five Junction roundabout after saying his helmet had saved his life. Writing in the Sunday Times, Dan thanked the driver for staying around after the incident, before adding, I am confident that I am not to blame and hope this can be resolved outside the courts. I know I could have died, but I also know how easy it is to make a mistake, even when you're trying to be very careful, 